Hello, in this video we are going to show you how you can use Shout Radio Player. From the player menu click Manage Players. By default you have a radio player already created which is this one. So you can start using it or you can create a new one by clicking Add New Button or uh, Duplicate Button. For each radio player you have uh, player settings, playlist, delete, duplicate and preview options. Uh, and for this demo we are going to use the already created radio player. Uh, click player settings. You have uh, uh, these default options. Uh, also by default the ads are uh, disabled you have uh, show banner false uh, I'll show you in the next video how you can uh, use the banners in case you you need them uh, now let's go back to manage players and uh, add a, a playlist item a radio player in the playlist click add new all you need is the radio stream we'll uh, use this one so here you'll here you'll uh, add your radio stream uh, by default the radio player will automatically grab the stream title the category and uh, uh, these are optional of course you can define your own stream title if you don't like the the one present in the metadata also you can uh, create some uh, categories and uh, select them from uh, from here click add record back to playlist and uh, preview the player To insert it in a page or post, just go back to Manage Players, copy the shortcode and go to the page or post you want to have uh, you want to have the radio player, click Edit and uh, paste the, the shortcode there. Update and View Page. As you can see, the radio player is uh, sticky at the bottom of the, of the page. It has automatically grabbed the current playing song, artist uh, image, artist uh, name, artist image, and the radio stream uh, name. If you check the playlist, you'll see here the uh, radio stream name and the categories already obtained as i said by default is sticky so if you want to have it inside your page somewhere uh, in there where you have inserted the the shortcode uh, you'll click player settings and deactivate uh, sticky option click update and when you refresh the page you'll see the the radio player inside the page. Uh, if you want to have it sticky, no matter the page you'll visit, so if you'll visit a new page, you'll see that the, the radio player does not appear. So uh, first thing, you'll have to remove the short code. So you remove the short code and from the player settings you'll set sticky and also activate for footer. Update and now when you'll visit the website no matter the page you'll, uh, you'll have the, the radio player there.